Welcome to the Nicholas Workshop. In today's video we're going to have a look at a new machine I've purchased for the workshop. Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Um, for those of you who may have um, you know, watched for quite a while, um, you will see this uh, uh, the um, Kennedy Hex the cart is normally on the other side of the workshop uh, but I've had to move it here because we've got a new machine in the workshop now it's in bits because I like a bargain and this truly was a bargain I, I'm not sure whether it was the uh, wisest to purchase but it was um, relatively cheap for me to um, to take a bit of a punt on it so let me just bring you over here so this is the um, the stand that it goes on. Um, uh, well, just yeah, just to be clear, it's a surface grinder that I've uh, I've, I've bought. Um, so this is quite a heavy duty stand, and it, it was a bit of a challenge to get it uh, get it upstairs. So we've got um, uh, so we I don't know what it's technically called. It's the um, to one of the ways that it travels um, so we've got that part looking at it the ways don't seem too bad so that's uh, that's good news but there is uh, a slight problem with that and if we go across uh, here we've got uh, that's where you, your uh, magnetic vice uh, fits and I've got one of those with it and an eclipse one and I've been stripping back the paint now I really didn't want to do this but it was so um, poorly, uh, uh, there was big de sort of indents in where it's um, been chipped over the years. Um, but actually, again, when I, I won't flip it over because it's quite a heavy old bit of kit. Um, the waves look very good under it, so I've got no. I'm fairly confident with this here and with there that we're we're in um, a good situation. Um, the electric motor. So I've taken that off. It does spin. Um, I think it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, away and the one off the. Uh, let's walk over here. Show you. So I've got the uh, the one here on the decal. That's a three phase one. So I'm going to take take this off here and and the one for the uh, surface grinder and uh, send them off to uh, get them refurbished now um, I, I know nothing about electronics or electrical so um, it will um, yeah something I've got to far, farm out um, but once once so I'm going, I will clean it all up in readiness to go so then once it comes back we're in a situation that it um, it will run run fine so the only real um, element that is uh, so this um, this I don't know what to call that bracket <coughs> so that fits over onto here and the hand will goes in so that allow uh, makes the movement of the um, of the bed but it's broken so this was the the only fault I've actually found with the uh, with the uh, surface grinder now I had thought about maybe it could be welded, but the problem is where everything fits together. Wait, well, you, you guys can tell me because I, I don't know, but I think it would be uh, it, if we build up with weld here or grind away like a V, build up with weld, I'm probably going to have to machine it all back anyway to try and get because I'm going to need the flat surface on both sides. Um, so I think it may just be um, as quick to make a new one, well, especially as I can't weld myself. Um, so again, that would require someone else. So um, I think, um, I mean, if we look at it in the simplest uh, forms, it is a block with a hole, a hole in, a couple of uh, uh, sort of indents. I don't know what you call it. Sorry, um, 
So that's basically a turning exercise. So I can put that in the, um, hold it in a four jaw. And then from this perspective, I can, uh, so I can bore the hole, that would be fine. And then we can mill this. Um, be nice to get a good surface finish on it, only if I had a surface grinder. But anyway, chicken and egg stuff there. So that's that part of it. Um, so that's so to date, the only things I need someone to just have a look over this, and it may well work. And this is the uh, the other part that I need to um, consider. <coughs> what I'd like to do is build some sort of guard that goes around here to allow me to have coolant. Um, and if any of you have got um, know of any good videos where someone's done that, I'll be I'll be grateful if you could put that in the comments because I'm keen to to get some ideas on that because um, yeah, it does look terrible, but actually I think early indications is, is it might be good. So let me um, what I do is. Um, I'll meet you downstairs and we'll have a quick look at the, the, main, the main sort of head and the spindle because um, that's downstairs on a pallet and we're waiting so this bar comes out of here the doors open and a forklift to lift it back up um, but at the moment things are a bit busy in the workshop and um, uh, we're not been able to get to, to do that so uh, as I say I'll meet you downstairs and um, yeah we'll have a look at the uh, the other part on the pallet okay right here we are so it's laying on its side now I don't actually know the make of this um, of this uh, surface grinder but what is interesting it's got this P76 um, I think it's German actually the machine um, and I don't know whether we can see that there so that's CJW so anyone who's got a any idea will be good so basically that's a whole unit and that these are the leveling feet for on the um, to go onto the the stand that we saw just a minute ago um, there's a bracket that bolts on here which allows which subsequently puts the um, electric motor on to drive it and then down the back that's the pulley that goes from the electric motor to to spin it. Um, it spins really well, actually. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm only doing it by hand. So, but this is as heavy as you like, and we had um, yeah, yeah, it did take a few people and um, a car engine hoist to get it into the van. Um, so, as you can see, we're all we're on the pallet truck and we're ready to go up go upstairs. Um, so yeah, yeah, um, and um, moving, moving it up and down, everything seems to run smoothly. So at the moment, I'm reasonably confident um, that it should work. Also, I don't know whether we'll be able to see that. I don't know. No, I think I'm creating a shadow now. Let me put that there. You might be able to, I think. I think the actual um, GoPro is creating the shadow. So that's something in German, um, which may also give a clue as to where this is from. Okay, so I'll meet you back upstairs, and again, it's just something else. I'll be quite keen for your your advice. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, so we're back upstairs now. Um, now I've got, as you know, I've got the uh, the decal tool and cutter grinder, and now I've got the surface grinder. And what I've been thinking, if you think of this whole space here, is actually sort of building some, or putting some shelving there, um, and then effectively moving everything from here, which is sort of the storeroom, out of here, and potentially put in the the two grinders in here so then I can keep the door shut when working and it'll be out of the way um, obviously to keep the have a sort of a dirty area and if maybe I could also put the uh, hexacut in here obviously the issue really is with the hexacut is um, 
the length of um, you're limited on how, how long a piece of metal you can put in when it's out here or in, in this confined area so yeah any thoughts on that um, I keep swaying really because I know I could put the in this part you could put the grinder the the surface grinder and then more over here have the decal um, but yeah 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 it's um it's just an idea at the moment um, and then basically as I say move all this stuff out just just here so it's uh that's a sort of dirty area we know we got the clean area sort of big dumping ground really um, but that's what that's the desire is for that to be um, yeah yeah and then just the rest of the workshop uh, to work in because um, it feels like it's getting too too busy for me and that's uh, was never the goal yeah okay so well that's about it for uh, today okay then as always uh, say Happy, healthy and, no, what was it? Happy, strong and healthy. That's the one. All right, take care. Bye-bye.